I'm not afraid. I'm yeah. Not afraid to take the it's been a ride. Everybody, I guess I had to go to that place to get to this one. Now some of you might still be in that place. If you're trying to get out, just follow me. I'll get you there. You can try and read my lyrics. Listen to me, number two, I want heart. My grandma raised 14 kids, south side of Chicago, like a two-bedroom house and like one bathroom. How do you pull that off? That's heart. Listen to me, if some of you in the room, you're going to try hard, you're going to work, you're going to work, and you're going to work, and at this university, you're going to put in 100%, and you still might not get what you want. And when you do everything you could possibly do, and you don't see the results that you're looking for, I need you to go past hard work, and then I need you to click it in the heart. I packed my whole family up from Huntsville, Alabama, and moved back to Michigan. I can't fail. I don't have no option. I can't fail. I took my wife out of a job, my kids out of school. I ripped them from their friends and brought them to a new place. And everything didn't work out exactly like I wanted to work out when I came to this university. But what I kept telling myself is, you will not fail. You will not fail. You've sacrificed too much. That's when you click in hearts. I had a teacher look at me and say, listen to me, you'll never get out of this. You'll never get a degree out of this university. You don't write well enough. I, I, I went from, oop, I don't have it here. I ain't got the skill. She's telling me I don't write on the level that I need to write on. Good. Let's go from hard work. Click. Let's go to heart now. I got pissed. I was looking at Twitter the other day. Somebody playing these little crazy video games. They're going to be playing a video, football video game. Going to tell me, E.T., have you heard Ray Lewis home? You got to hear Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis got you beat. I said, what? Ray Lewis, a better motivational speaker than you. I said, I said do, somebody do me a favor. Call Ray Lewis. <laughs> Let's bypass. I'm, do, 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 do. I don't know Ray Lewis, y'all out there. If you know Ray Lewis, call Ray Lewis. Tell Ray Lewis, do me a huge favor. Meet me anywhere. Any venue. We could do the Ravens if you want to. We can meet like in your locker room if you want to. Let's go for two minutes and see how that works. Then let's go to five. And after we finish five, let's do a 30-minute presentation. <laughs> And if you could do a 30, let's go an hour. If you could do an hour, let's go two hours. Like if you could do the, motor, the football motivational thing for more than six seconds, let's do it. Me and you, one-on-one. -on -one. Why? Because I got pride in what I do. You're going to tell me a football player? A dude that played football, no disrespect, great football player, and I wouldn't try to play football because my man on a whole other level. But when you come in my arena talking about public speaking, let's, let's go. Because I take pride in what I do. I don't play when I do what I do. I got heart when I do what I do. I ain't talking to you just to be talking to you. I'm trying to, I'm trying to touch your pulse and change your life. I'm not interested in you saying I'm a good speaker. When you walk out of here, I will know if you took it serious because you're going to go hit the books. You're going to be up all night studying. You're going to be up all night writing down your goals. You're going to be up all night tell, telling yourself, this is why I'm here. This is why I won't quit. This is why I won't give up. You're going to call your mom and say, Ma, I'll see you in four. As a matter of fact, I won't see you in four. Come see me in four because I'm finishing up. That's how I know you're serious. I know you're serious when I see you come back next week and the week after that and the week after that. And I know you're serious when you go to every single class and you do every single assignment and you read every single page and you meet every, listen to me, every office hour at OSS. You're going to UUD and getting all the information. You at LRC getting help. You at the study table. That's when I know you're serious. Not when you walk out of here like, woo, what a program. I don't know you serious when you take your study serious because that's what you're here for. And I leave you, somebody counting on you. For real, man, y'all know where you're from. Now, when you get here, you're trying to act brand new. I know you got a couple new gear, and you come here and act like where you come from is money. You know you ain't got money where you come from like that. <laughs> ain't nobody cash you out. Ain't, your mama didn't come up here and just put 50000 down and buy all your books and drove off like I'll see you later. Your mother didn't do that. Somebody, they had to get their taxes right. Somebody had to get their taxes right for you. Somebody had to take another job. Grandma couldn't even retire. Grandma shouldn't even be working right now, but grandma got to keep working to make sure you get through school, her little pension. She got to make sure you get through. You better stop playing. You better stop playing. Because when you finish, you're going to be able to do some stuff for grandma you could never do before. You're going to be able to do some stuff for your family that you could never do before. How do I know? My son 17, my daughter 14. They, they stand, when we travel, they in the Western. I wasn't in the Western when I was seven. I didn't even know the Western exists. They got stuff I never had. Why? Because I got them on my back. And I told you I wear the hat. Why? Because I'm putting the city of Detroit on my back. We bringing it back. We bringing Detroit back flat out. If it's one dude, one guy, if it's one guy from Detroit, not sports, that's going to bring the city back, I'm going to be the dude to let kids in the city know you can, come, you can come from Detroit. No disrespect, but I mean it when I say it. I, McKinney, Taft, Henry Ford. Like, I mean Detroit. That's, that's exactly what I mean. And I'm going to bring the city back. The question is, what you going to do? What you going to do for you? What you gonna do for your mother? What you gonna do for your father? What you gonna do for your family? 
what you're going to do at this university, and what's going to be your legacy. Shh. I leave you. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. Shh. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. And the only person that remembers the dude that came in second place is the dude that came in second place. Don't nobody else remember it. Nobody else remember. The only dude that remember the dude that came in second place is the dude that came in second place. Don't nobody else remember who my man is? So do me a favor, guys. Be phenomenal or be forgotten. Be legendary. And please leave a legacy. That's my time. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid to take a stand. Stay. Everybody, everybody, come take my hand, come take my hand. We'll walk this road together through the storm.